heading into the Delta State baseball team's bye week in Gulf South Conference play. The threat of inclement weather here at Ferris Field in Cleveland pushed the games with GSC newcomer Lee from a Saturday Sunday like normal to a Friday Saturday. Let's see some highlights. Friday, April 4th, the start of Go Green Weekend brought Lee University and Delta State to the baseball diamond. We pick up the action of game one in the top of the fifth inning. Statesman already leading 7 0. BSU turns the double play, keeps the shutout alive. Top of the sixth now, Drew Milligan on the mound for the Statesman. He gets the batter swinging. Yes, that was a swing. Lee goes three up, three down. Top of the seventh, more Delta defense. First baseman Ricky Velez snags a line drive out of the air, completes a double play by stepping on first base. Lee still hasn't scored here. In game one, bottom of the seventh, Delta State up to bat. Velez in the box, and he gets a hit to third, beats the throw to first. The next two batters get walked, so Will Robertson gets bases loaded. That is a sacrifice fly to center. Velez has enough time to tag up and head home, and that makes it 8 0 Delta State. The Statesmen go on to complete the shutout, winning game one 9 0 over Lee. Milligan pitched a complete game with six strikeouts, just two walks after facing 31 batters. Head coach Mike Kinnison says when it comes to pitching roles on his team, each guy does his job and gives 100%. Well, I think our top two starters are solidified in Manley and Moody. You know, we felt really good with where we were with Ricky Winters, and we'll see how that goes right now. He's kind of uh, getting his arm evaluated a little bit. Bullpen rolls, um, I think they know what we want them to do and maybe we're making a little progress in that regard. I thought there were some good bullpen performances this weekend. Game two of the series on Saturday, April 5th. Bottom of the first inning, Jordan Chauvinick and Dex Harrington already on base when Ricky Velez hits a sacrifice fly into the outfield. Chauvinick trots across home plate. Delta State is up 1-0 on the lead. Next batter is Ben Pickard. He sends a hit up the middle. Harrington rounds third, slides into home plate for another score. After just one inning, DSU is up 2-0. Michael Manley on the mound for the Statesman, top of the third inning. He gets the batter to go down swinging. And same thing for the third batter in that inning. Lee goes three up, three down, thanks to Manley and the Delta State defense. Moving ahead to the bottom of the seventh inning, Lee has tied it up 2-2 with a runner on second. Chauvinek sends the 1-0 pitch into center field. Chauvinek gets a double out of that. The Statesmen are looking to take the lead back. That's what happens two batters later after Lee changes pitchers. Base is loaded for Dex Harrington. His grounder is fielded by the second baseman. Dex is out at first, but Landon Thibodeau scores, and DSU leads 3-2. Lee plates two in the eighth and gets the lead back by one run. This hit brings in another run to put Delta down 5-3, but Chauvinek's outstanding throw from center field gets another runner out. Statesman defense heads back to the dugout. Unfortunately, the Delta State bats can't bring in runs in the eighth or ninth. The Statesman fall to Lee 5-3 in game two. Is there something about game two for DSU? Every Gulf South Conference loss this year has been in the second game of the series. Well, I don't know. It just, like I said, I thought it was just a good pitching matchup. Their guy threw really well, and uh, it was as much what they did as we didn't do. So, Game three is a different story. Delta comes back with a vengeance and beats Lee 11-1 to to win the series two games to one. You know, baseball is a different game than some others you play. The pitching matchups dictate the tempo and the rhythm of the game. Obviously, it dictates the runs that are scored and aren't scored. Just thought game two is a really good pitching matchup. Yeah, obviously disappointed we didn't do enough to win, but you know, when you're playing a good team and they are a good ball club, you can't afford to have a bad inning. And we just, uh, you know, kind of set them up for that inning where we mislocated a few pitches and let them get a free guy on, and, and then they got the big hit at the right time. So that's frustrating, but uh, on the other hand, I'm really pleased with the way our guys bounce back. and. I thought we played hard all day. We played hard all three games, no lack of effort. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard to sweep, but uh, something we, you have to do to get where you want to be. And uh, played really well in games one and three. We just, you know, mislocated a little bit. And, you know, I thought Manley was really good. He started slow and then hit his stride in the middle of game two there. And for about three or four or five innings, he was as good as he's been all year. 
maybe got a little tired at the end. I don't know, but uh, got into a long inning and uh, left a couple of pitches up, and that was kind of the difference in the game. We just didn't do enough offensively. We set on a small lead, and when you do that, it can often come back to, you know, haunt you a little bit, and it did. In game three, the Statesmen plated eight runs in the first inning. Coach Kennison says big leads early on are good and bad. Well, I almost hate to see a big lead, to tell you the truth, because, you know, as a coach, you're, you're constantly kind of on your team. Don't relax. Don't look at the scoreboard. Don't pay any attention to that. Just focus on the next pitch. Focus on the next, next you know, uh, at bat or whatever. And uh, sometimes, you know, the mentality can drift. The big leads are nice, but you want your team to keep grinding and keep working. And I thought we did that. We continued to add runs. That's a challenge. It's not to sit on the lead and continue to add runs throughout the game. In the past couple of weeks, Delta State has squeezed in some midweek games against non-conference but regional opponents. In those games, Coach Kennison switched up the batting order, putting leadoff man Jordan Chauvinek deeper into the order. Kennison says taking some pressure off helped Chauvinek come back strong in the Lee Series. The senior earned Golf South Conference Player of the Week honors after going 15 for 20 at the plate with four RBI and seven runs scored on the week. I think it's just a confidence thing. I really felt like he... Uh, kind of just worked through that and worked his way out of it. It's something any hitter and any ball player can go through. But this weekend, of course, he was, he was very good. He was swinging the bat much better. And, and I just related it to a confidence thing. And, uh, you know, sometimes baseball, you just need to get one to fall for you, and then you, then you gain your confidence and you're, you're kind of on your way, and hopefully he can stay there. With just a few weeks left in the season, the top of the GSC keeps flip-flopping between Delta State and West Florida. Coach Kennison had a few question marks coming into the season, but says he always expected his team to be at the top. Yeah, I expect to be here. I think we always expect to be here, but that's not an arrogant statement. It's just our goal and our vision. That's what we want to do. We knew this was a different ball club. We knew that they were going to have to find themselves and we were going to have to replace a lot of key people and I'm pleased with the way that's gone. We started slow and uh, you know have played pretty solid the last couple of weeks and uh, you know I've, I've been pleased with that. The Statesmen now get a bye week in Golf South Conference action but the team will not take a break from the Diamond. Yeah we're on the road for two midweek games and then we play you know, and, and it's it's a lot to do with the regional picture, you know. We could take a weekend off, but it wouldn't help us any with our uh, quest to get a regional ranking. And, and so you just have to play good people, and, and uh, I don't think you can ever be afraid of competition or back up from a good fight, so to speak, and uh, I don't think our guys want that. We've always had that trademark here of playing the toughest schedule we can find, and I think you get better when you do that. You learn a lot about your team. and. You know, so, you know, maybe we could have a few more wins and we could find a few softer opponents to play. But in the long run, at the end of the year, when you get to conference tournament, when you get to regionals, it's going to be crucial games and you better expose your team to a lot of that during the season. So a break in Golf South Conference play for Statesman Baseball, but not a break at all. The Statesman will travel to Georgia to play Young Harris in midweek action and then go to Southern Arkansas for another battle of nationally ranked teams. And it's going to be tough. For GoStatesman.com, I'm Katie Smith.